Welcome to our channel where we explore the fascinating world of water treatment. In this video, we delve into the concept of conductivity and its crucial role in reverse osmosis plant. If you have ever wondered how conductivity affects the efficiency and performance of our system, you are in the right place. Conductivity is a physical property of a material that measures its ability to conduct electric current. It is the reciprocal of electrical resistance. Conductivity is commonly represented by the symbol sigma and is measured in the Siemens per meter or micro Siemens per centimeter. In the context of water treatment, conductivity refers to the ability of water to conduct an electric current due to the presence of dissolved ion. Pure water has no conductivity because it contains very few ions. However, when water comes into contact with dissolved salt, minerals or other substance, it can become conductive as these substances associate into ions that facilitate the flow of electric current. The conductivity of water is influenced by the concentration and types of ions present in the water. Water with a higher concentration of dissolved ions will have higher conductivity, while water with pure dissolved ions only have lower conductivity. Conductivity is commonly used as an indicator of the total dissolved solids TDS, contained in water, which includes minerals, salts, metals and other dissolved substances. Here are the steps of measure water conductivity. First, Select a reliable conductivity meter. Acquire a conductivity meter specially designed for measuring the conductivity of water. 2. Calibrate the meter. Before measuring the water conductivity, it is important to calibrate the meter using a calibrate calibration solutions of known conductivity. 3. Prepare the sample. Collect a representative sample of the water you want to measure. 4. Immerse the probe. Immerse the conductivity probe into the water sample. Make sure the probe is fully submerged and that the electrodes are not touching the sides or bottom of the container. 6. Read the conductivity. Once the reading stabilized, the conductivity meter will display the conductivity value of the water sample. Note down the value for further analysis and monitoring. In our plant monitoring, water conductivity is important for several reasons. Number one, membrane performance. Conductivity measurement help evaluate the effectiveness of the RO membrane. A higher conductivity reading indicates that the membranes may be experiencing pouling or scaling, which can reduce their efficiency and lifespan. Two, system efficiency. Conductivity measurements allow operators to assess the overall efficiency of the RO system. An increase in conductivity over time can indicate a decline in system performance, potentially due to the membrane degradation or inadequate pretreatment. Number three, water quality. Monitoring conductivity helps ensure the desired water quality. Standards are meet. Different industries and applications have a specific conductivity limits for their water and regular monitoring helps maintain compliance with these standards. 4. Process control. Conductivity measurements can be used as a control parameter in the operations of an RO plant. By monitoring and adjusting the process based on conductivity readings, operators can optimize system performance and minimize costs. Remember that water conductivity is just one parameter to consider in the operations of an RO plant. Other important parameters include pH, temperature, pressure, differential, flow rate, and concentrations of specific containments. Regular monitoring of these parameters ensure the efficient and effective functioning of the RO plant. Hope you understand this topic. Subscribe for other videos. Thank you.